Hi everyone, Zen Within Me here. I'm so excited to share my oracle cards with you. I finally got them in. Okay, so I told you I was going to do a showcase video, so here we have it. All right, initials, traits, and features oracle cards by Zen Within Me. All right, so let's start off first with some of the letters. These cards give you initials of people or letters to describe a person, place, or thing that connects you to your person or situation. They can also give you timing, such as days of the week, month, or numbers, okay, as you've seen me use them in my readings. Traits and features are self-explanatory. These oracle cards are not just for love, but for anything in your life where you will need specific details about a person or situation. Purchase info is down below in the description box. Check out my YouTube channel, Zen Within Me, for free weekly readings. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, peace and love, guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Boo! Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Zen Within Me. Okay, so nobody knows what's going on for Halloween, so I thought it would be fun. Let me dress up. Let me be festive. Why not, right? Okay, do a little something cool for you guys. All right, so who am I doing now? Pisces. Pisces, let's get into your reading. Guys, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Pisces, sun, moon, rising regarding their love life. Okay, what love messages do we have for Pisces regarding their love life? Okay, who does Pisces desire? Who desires Pisces? Okay, let's see. Pisces, let's get into it. What's going on in your love life? What do you need to know at this time? I don't know. A cheerleader is coming through. Somebody was a cheerleader, is a cheerleader likes those cheerleader movies however it resonates okay so we have here I'm still gonna show you guys the cards the six of swords okay so this is someone going towards a better situation maybe a trip or journey someplace around water okay so let's see and then we have the knight of wands here all right so this is somebody that is uh, they've been in and out of your life this could be you moving um, this is also fast action. All right, so somebody might be moving soon um, in order to go towards a better situation. You might be moving someplace around water. Okay. You may also be going on a trip with someone that's been in and out of your life. This is also, this might be a trip that you've been um, planning on taking, but you've been like on and off with it. So it could also be an on and off situation. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some other cards here. All right, so what's going on with Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Okay, what love messages do we have for Pisces? on and off in a relationship with someone where it hasn't really been serious it's like just on and off you talk here and there and you want to go further with this but like it's not happening so you're getting ready to perhaps move on I'm also getting that coming through um, we have here for some of you that you're heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving mourning okay so like I said for some of you you know this person's not committing to you so you're just ready to move on you're heartbroken over it but you know that you, you have to do what's best for you and what's best for you is to not continuously be on hold with this person um, that on and off uh, nobody does well with that on and off you know it's like should I get off the pot right okay all right but I do see something coming in for you here okay so you're going to go towards this bit of a better situation or move like i said now this could be romance this could also be work related love of a job you know um i see here heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect so the person that is right for you is going to be coming in it's like one door closes another one opens okay so um, once you decide to move on, get out of this on and off um, energy 
or just being indecisive. Should I? Shouldn't I? Mm, you're finally going to make a decision and go, okay, I'm going to go forward with this, whatever this is. And so I'm, I'm getting like bittersweet. So you're leaving the past behind. You're let of, letting go of someone or something from the past, but you have the one coming in. Okay. You have here something that's more perfect for you. Okay. And then we have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So you're going to get to fall in love with this person here or fall in love with this new place you'll be, you'll be living, this new job that you're going to be starting, position. Um, if it's the same company, same position, just you're relocating, uh, you're going to fall in love. You're, you're going to be happy. It's going to be ultimately a, a very good decision that you made. Okay, so if you were concerned about that if that's why for some of you were kind of like uh, should I shouldn't I do it it's good it's good for you okay so let's see let's get some other messages here all right so we're going to be using my deck now teehee all right I got the link down below for this and don't forget to check out my uh, October giveaway that's down below in the description box as well as the link for the cards and other affiliates there the holidays are just around the corner so you know I've got some good stuff down there. Uh, Truly Divine, you can send out, um, very affordable, you can send out a chart to someone that somebody likes um, getting their charts done or their cards done, watching readings. You can give them their own deck. This way they can, you know, get details all the time. All right, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Can you give us some more details for Pisces? Okay, so RX came through. RX, if I remember correctly, I think that has something to do with like medications, pharmaceuticals. So that's coming through. Also Rex. So somebody may have a name Rex, nickname Rex. W. Okay, I'm going to put that there for now. Any other details coming through? For Pisces. Last shuffle. Okay, so person, place, or thing. We get all kinds of messages here. Now, this can be anyone that's coming towards you in life that's going to be helping you with something. If it's not this new love, this could be somebody work, somebody that you're moving and dealing with, you know, landlord, realtor, anything like that. Okay, so then we have D and A. So someone might be a DA. I'm seeing Dawn here also and Rad. Somebody may use the word Rad. Um, so the name Dawn, something may be happening at Dawn. Uh, let's see. I'm also getting Dada. So if somebody has a baby. Okay, so RXWDA is coming through. However, it uh, resonates with you. Also AD, somebody might be in advertising. Okay, or something to do with ads. Promoting something. And then the letter X, did I not show you these? I think I did. The letter X, yeah, I did. That could be um, something to do with your X. I'm getting a Rolls Royce, something to do with a Rolls Royce. Okay, so someone you might be dealing with can be short, or someone coming into your life affectionate for sure because we have here kisses unconditional loving uh receiving an um affection falling in love so of course this person's going to be affectionate they may be shorter than what you would normally expect they're spiritual and curvy okay now curvy could be curvy for a female it could be curvy like muscles Okay, however curvy resonates with you and this, this person that you're um, in communication with or contacting or coming towards you, however you want to put it, okay? Okay, 
So let's get some more details here. Okay, what else does Pisces need to know regarding their love life? Um, I don't know why Darwin is also coming through. Okay, one last shuffle. Okay, thank you. All right, so we have here Neptune, your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. So I'm, I'm getting for you guys, uh, things that you've been fantasizing and dreaming of are finally going to be coming true. Okay, there's a Leo somewhere in the picture. The energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, and passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. Okay, so if they are not a Leo, they may have Leo in their chart or just um, the Leo energy. Okay, now this is a timeless reading, so it could be in the time of Leo that there may be uh, something coming about here. Okay, perhaps this move or this person that you meet. Okay, so what other messages do we have here for Pisces? Let's see if we can get some timing for you guys. Okay, so we have here luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius. Okay, so you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. In the time of Sagittarius, new moon and Sagittarius, look to see when that is, or it just may simply be the next new moon phase. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Same messages apply. And adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Yeah, adjustments are required. You may have to move for whatever reason to, to get to this new love, to start this new job. Maybe you're moving out after being heartbroken because of a breakup. Okay. All right, so those are your messages, Pisces. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Don't forget to check out the links down below in the description box. Peace and love, stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.